hi and thank you for joining me for this episode of Coffee Talk Tuesday. And if you're new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos. Anyway, this week I thought it would be fun to talk about something that's pretty popular these days, I would say. Namely, choosing gratitude. I know it's kind of a popular topic and there's tons of apps and journals and things that help you with that practice of gratitude and... I think lots of people do it in different ways, but everybody agrees that it's a good thing. I mean, you're choosing to be grateful for things and focusing on positive things and so on. And so I thought that in this episode of Coffee Talk Tuesday, it'd be fun for me to share personally how I practice gratitude. So for me, it's never been really a problem to be grateful for things. And I've always... I think I've always been really grateful for things that I had and positive things that happened to me. So the general practice of having gratitude wasn't really anything that I felt like drawn to with a need to practice. But as a Christian and as I continue growing in my walk with God, I've been realizing more and more that it's not enough for me to just express gratefulness and name things I'm grateful for, but I need to remember who I am grateful to for those things. And so I've been a little bit more mindful about remembering to thank God for the things I'm grateful for. And that's felt more like a full experience for me, and I've been enjoying doing that. But as I continue growing closer to the Lord, as I mature in my faith a little more, I've been realizing that there's something else that I can practice and I want to talk about it a little bit more today and that is choosing to be grateful in the circumstances that are difficult in the moments where I really don't feel grateful you know in, in situations that are hard like for instance um, right now all our boys are having a cold and John and I are having a cold. Thankfully, it's not a bad cold. But if you're a parent of young kids, you know that any kind of cold like practically destroys your routine. And <laughs> so we haven't been sleeping very well. The boys wake up multiple times during the night because they're a little congested and, and they want to be comforted and stuff. And so last night, it was pretty bad. Both our boys, our older boys, Sammy and Theo, ended up coming into our bed to just snuggle up and stay the night with us. And then Teddy woke up and he was really cranky and he was awake. And so, you know, just for a background story, I haven't been sleeping very well for the last couple of weeks. So I've been really, really tired. And here was another night. It was, I think, about... 350 or something like that and I already have gotten up like two or three times prior to that so I was just exhausted and as I was sitting there I just I was starting to think you know this is so hard I'm so tired I was hot I need I was thirsty I needed to use the bathroom you know all these things that weren't ideal in the moment and of course it's really late at night and I'm not feeling that great either. And so all I wanted to do was to sleep and I couldn't because, well, I have a baby depending on me and my other boys were pretty restless. So I was calming them down as well. In this moment, I could kind of choose what I wanted to do. I mean, it's not necessarily such an obvious decision if you're not mindful of it, but I could have followed with the lines of, oh, I'm so tired, I'm uncomfortable, this is way too hot, um, I am just bored, I, I am barely staying awake, and I could have chosen a response to it as like watching something on YouTube, just trying to kill the time, or just be upset and build the situation up in my mind more. You know, there's lots of options that you can do. But if you see, it's kind of like a negative thing, just kind of self-pitying and, and dwelling on the bad things in the situation that I couldn't possibly change. And instead, as soon as I realized that I was kind of not, not feeling very good about the whole thing, I decided, no, you know what? I will choose to be grateful in this moment. 
And so instead of going that, that other way that I just talked about, I decided to be grateful for the baby in my arms. And not just be grateful, like, you know, acknowledge that, oh, I have this precious little boy and look at him. And, but be grateful for him to God. So I wasn't just merely naming things that I was grateful for. But I would name what I was grateful for and then thank God for the thing or the person. And so I thanked God for Teddy and then and Sammy and Theo with each with each thing I was grateful for, my expression turned into a prayer of gratitude. And so <laughs> as you can imagine, before long I was just having such a good time pouring my heart out to God and gratefulness for all the blessings that He had given me in this life. And <laughs> I don't know what it's like for me, but as soon as my heart gets so full of this gratefulness and so close in the presence of God, it's like it's it's it turns into worship. I cannot stop. I just worship God and praise Him and I feel so grateful and my heart is moved and my spirit is moved and I just have the best of times and <laughs> you know and then the time just flies everything feels different I feel joyful and I feel connected to God it just transforms the whole experience. I mean, it could have been so different had I chosen just to not be happy about my circumstances that I couldn't change. But choosing, mindfully choosing to spend this moment with God and be grateful and express that gratitude to Him, it just transforms the entire experience it did for me. And you know, and <laughs> so often, Especially when you're a parent, you know, you, you don't have all the time in the world. You have little kids depending on you or kids depending on you and other responsibilities. It often feels like it's a struggle to find enough time with God. And so this, this is an opportunity, if you choose to see it as such, to slip away and be with God. And it just, it feeds your soul. And it's something that you shouldn't overlook if you only can remember to be making a conscious choice about how you want the situation to go. You know, it could apply to where you're in traffic, you're in a hurry to go home and make dinner, and there's traffic jam on the freeway and nobody moves. And so you have this choice in this moment. You can either go, okay, well, I'm gonna be late, the dinner is not gonna get on time, my whole evening is gonna be taken over. You can look on your phone and see when the traffic is supposed to clear, was there an accident, or just try to see what the reason is. You can try to tune into a radio station to see any news updates. You can tweet or or Facebook or send a message saying, oh, I'm so frustrated, I'm so stuck. Or you can call somebody and vent about how inconsiderate the circumstance is to your schedule. Or you can just be mindful of the situation and decide, I will not be negative about this. I will use this opportunity to spend time with God and you start naming a thing you're grateful for and you just thank God for it and you keep going until you feel that your situation doesn't matter anymore. The time you're spending stuck in the traffic doesn't matter anymore because it's so much more and instead of dragging you down for the rest of the day you get uplifted in it and it could apply to anything you know trouble at work some other um, circumstance like even a hard day at, at home with the kids you know when everybody's just kind of misbehaving and cranky you can either follow the suit or you can decide to do something else with it and many a time you realize that if your attitude changes and the way you feel changes the kids kind of behave better I find that to be true a lot of the time so anyway, this is how I've been challenging myself to practice gratitude, to be more mindful of doing that 
in times where I don't feel grateful and times where it's difficult, you know, so many of us experience circumstances that are just out of our control, that are hard, that, that, you know, it feels like, I mean, what could you be grateful for in this moment? But there's always something to be grateful for, even as cheesy as this sounds, I find that to be true. And so this is where I've been challenging myself to be more mindful in the moment when I'm starting to feel negative feelings about my circumstances. I've been challenging myself to rise above them, to find something I'm grateful for, to turn my attention to God and the difference it's making in my life is just unbelievable. So hey, let me know how you do. Do you practice gratitude at all? Do you have certain ways in which you do it? Are you challenging yourself in any of it? Let me know in the comments. I'm really curious to hear about what other people do and, and how other people experience things. And so yeah, please leave me a comment about that. Also, if there's anything you want us to talk about, me and John, or just John, or us together, let us know in the comments as well. We want these Coffee Talk Tuesdays to be something that's interesting to you. And so yeah, don't hesitate to leave us a comment. Don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying these types of videos. We'd be glad to have you. And see you next Tuesday. Bye!